How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Ugh. This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. Hmm, I think I'm all smashed out. For now. No, not going over there. Leave no trash box unopened. That's my motto. Sing your song, tiny man. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? You're a long way from the beach.
I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. Don't tell me what to do. I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. Magical battery goes here. Soon as I magically find one. Cigarettes. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. Pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> Would look at this. Okay, I'm still looking, but it's only because I'm so fixated by how weird it is. You're a long way from the country club, guy. Don't want to leave yet. Now this is a Vortex Club I wouldn't mind joining. Gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. This rug has some miles on it. Bottles, bottles everywhere, and not one beer to drink. Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. Wow. I should angry graffiti more often. First you take my mom, then you take my home. G fuck you, David.
This is no good. All great art is made on the insides of car hoods atop ships in the middle of junkyards. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Got it. I don't know for a fact that there isn't buried treasure there. I can't believe Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. Crazy that something so destructive can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. In conclusion, fire, pretty sweet. There's got to be a battery under one of these car hoods, right?
This is no good. Most of these cars are junk. I'll probably need to find the one that seems less junky if I have any hope of finding a working battery. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. This one won't work. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. This mat has seen some things, mostly feet. Wow, <laughs> shitty ride drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? In official car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. Here we go, the pick of the litter. Damn. 
This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. I know someone who would be very happy here. You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes, okay? Good talk. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. I bet if I look, I can find something else to fix inside the truck. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. You should cover that life-endangering floor hole quite nicely. might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. I've seen the light, and it's awesome. Avast, or whatever. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one, too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, 
How sweet would that be? Yeah? Bryce, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank? After you hang up, are you going to smash your phone? Like, in the movies? And if so, can I smash it? Trust me, Price. If I ever have to smash anything, you'll want nothing to do with it. I'll see you. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> Didn't think so. The inaugural truck tag. You only get one chance to make a first expression. The eye sees all. Tell me if we're ever really getting out of Arcadia Bay, all-seeing eye. Does Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife? I knew there was something off about that guy. <laughs> what do we have here? Most people probably wouldn't wear a beanie they found in a junkyard. Sucks for most people. Yep. This'll do. Fixing the truck was hard work. Time to kick back and light up when I'm done looking around.
Shit. I slept all day. What the hell? Dad? I wonder if it burned like this the day... The day it happened. Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? I miss him so much. Dad, what are we doing here? Do I even like marshmallows? Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness, but darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what?
hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette, you could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in, or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. You've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A pirate flag? A freaky red light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am. I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it, too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. 
That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a uh, step douche because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> huh. 
Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag.